What's going on with you guys? I am back with a new video. And uh, before we go ahead and get into everything, if you guys cannot tell, I did rearrange my room a little bit. Um, I have my camera at like a new angle, so we'll see if it looks good or not. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that way. In case you guys live under a rock or anything, um, Travis Scott just dropped a new single. It's called Highest in the Room, and it's going pretty crazy right now. OZ produced it, and I really like the beat, and it kind of inspired me to create something with that same vibe to it. The drums in the beat really stuck out to me. Um, um, they honestly remind me a lot of the drums from my ritual drum kit the percussion kind of has the same vibe to it so yeah before we get into everything if you guys are not already go ahead and go drop me a follow on instagram and twitter at kyle stenberger and with all that being said let's go ahead and get into this beat so for this beat i'm bringing out the old trusty guitar um i'm not sure if the guitar in the song is a vst or a real guitar it kind of sounds like a vst not that it sounds bad or anything. So I'm just gonna mess around on my guitar until I create something that has a good feel to it. Um, honestly, I'm gonna keep the chords really simple, just kind of like some, just something like that. All right, so here's what I recorded with the guitar. I'm just gonna mess with the tempo a little bit. I'm gonna add the half-speed gross beat, turn the mix down. This little bass part, I'm gonna cut some of the highs out. When I laid the guitar down, I heard like a whistle over it, like some cowboy stuff, but I suck at whistling. So I just looked up whistle and Omnisphere and found psychopathic whistle. And then I laid this pretty similar melody down. So all together, this is what I have right now. So now that we have this, I'm gonna click right here and then I'm gonna do Alt R. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna render out the master. It's a lot faster than just recording in Edison and dragging it on there. But anyways, we have our melody here now, and I think I'm gonna mess with the pitch a little bit, so. And then just to give it a little more grit, I'm gonna go ahead and throw RC20 on it. I don't wanna make it too like detuned, but I just wanna give it a little bit more grit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my ritual drum kit and I'm gonna grab an 808. And I'm gonna do a pretty simple 808 pattern. Um, this 808 is really similar to the one on um, highest in the room as well. It's called my model's 808. I use this 808 all the time. No crazy self promo or anything like that but for real this kit is like the kit you need if you're looking for percussion like the kind um oz using the beat All right, cool. So right now, here's the pattern we have. Um, pretty much, this is just like the first part of the hook. So all together, this is what it sounds like. And then I'm gonna grab the snare called Window from my Formula Drum Kit. Um, this is pretty similar to the snare he used 
uh, this snare just slaps so hard. Last thing I'm gonna do is just split by channel and then using the addition key on my keyboard, I'm just gonna separate all the sounds real quick. And I'm gonna do some really fast arranging on this beat. For the first part of the hook, I'm gonna make it play like without the whistle, so just the guitar and the little bass part I recorded. Um, right here. I'm gonna take out the kick and the snare. So now when the um when the kick comes in it just adds so much energy. Maybe add this hi hat and take out this one and then do like the kick and the clap. And then have the part with the bass come back in. And then I'm just gonna copy this over twice. And then for the last part, I'm just gonna have this be the outro. And then just like that, the beat is arranged. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's it. The last thing I would do now would be um, add all these to the mixer. Just kind of do like a quick mix down, which I really don't need to. I think the levels are pretty good how it is. And then I'd add an EQ. Turn the highs up a little bit and then a soft clipper so yeah that's pretty much it for the video um hope you guys enjoyed watching hope y'all learned something new from it if you got any questions suggestions comments anything just leave them down in the comments below and i'll try and get back to as many of you guys as i can and yeah if you want any of the drums i used um 99 of the drums are from my ritual drum kit so i'll link that in the description for you guys so yeah thank y'all so much for watching uh be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss any of my future uploads and yeah go follow me on instagram and twitter at kyle Stenberg if you're not already as well and i'll see you guys again soon Peace.